that yes, you are putting your trust in someone else, your smile in someone else's hands, but Dr. Olson is a professional. Um, I put my trust in him 100% and I don't think I could have trusted anyone else with my smile. What's up guys, this is Dr. O from Innovative Dental and that was Eva. She's a really cool gal from New York City. She traveled to Innovative Dental to have us fix her smile after a car accident. You'll get to see an implant, veneers, and a crown, all constructed in a single visit for her using some really cool technology. I'm gonna walk us through that. So stay tuned, watch the whole video. You'll get to see her experience in her interview before. That's right after this little clip. And then at the end of the video, you'll get to hear her uh, ex share her experience with traveling to Springfield, Missouri to get her smile transformed by our team. And what a great video. I hope you guys watch it all, put a lot of effort into it. Uh, before we dive in, give it a thumbs up if you like this type of stuff. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. This channel is about educating people on the latest in dentistry so they make really great decisions. And of course, we'd love to see you travel to Innovative Dental in Springfield, Missouri. Watch this vid. All right, I'm so excited. Yeah, this is you be... are now more excited than I am. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I, I, you were a little nervous yesterday, though, but that's okay. I'm still a little nervous. So that's, that's all right. It's kind of normal to be nervous here. You're yeah. ever, like flying to Springfield and I know, changing your yeah. smile. So. Yeah. Well, I'm here with Eva. Man, she's awesome individual. Just got to meet her actually just last night in person, but we spoke maybe a couple weeks ago on yeah. a video consultation about transforming your smile. Um, tell everybody kind of how you found us and kind of your experience initially, okay? Well, I was in a car accident and I needed my teeth to get fixed. <laughs> and I'm from New York City and I, not kidding, I went to about 10 consultations in New York City. I wasn't, everyone was telling me something different. I wasn't entirely pleased with the, what they were saying and I have done so much research <laughs> and I found Dr. Olson through YouTube. And I started looking at his work and I started looking at all of his videos and I was immediately intrigued by his personality, his honesty, um, and that I gave him a call and we had a virtual consultation mm -hmm. like a couple weeks ago and I flew out here yeah. to Springfield, Missouri. So yeah, so, yeah. pretty awesome. Uh, so kind of what we're doing today, we had, we had a fractured tooth and um, it was one of your front teeth and you chipped a few other teeth. Yeah. And it's actually, I got some video and I'll share with uh, the viewers the um, close-ups of the radiograph, the one that we looked at yesterday with yeah. it fractured, severed off. So um, got to take it out and got to do an implant. And so kind of a challenge, right? She's from, here from New York. We're trying to do this in a single visit, which we're going to do it in a single visit and transform that front uh, smile, which the two broken teeth and the new implant. We'll do that in a single visit today and you'll get to leave with that all done. So that's kind of a unique treatment um, and we're gonna use some really cool technology to do that and make it predictable and make it look really nice. Um, and you'll get to see that uh, here at the end, uh, kind of close up. Obviously you'll be numb, so I don't know how the smile photos will turn out, yeah. but uh, <laughs> at least you'll be able to see close up what that would look like. So, so what's going on in your mind right now? Like, where are you at? I like am, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so nervous. I have so much, honestly, like dental anxiety, but the girls in the front, they've had work done here and I've spoke to them so many times and Dr. Olsen and Dexter the dog <laughs> have made me feel so comfortable and some of the anxiety has honestly, not, not completely 100%, but it's, I feel so much better and I feel like I'm in good hands yeah. with you and cool. everything's gonna turn out good. It is, yeah. can't wait, sweet. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and get this process started. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, this is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna narrate what's going on here in this video so you can see that we're outlining the tooth uh, where she broke that tooth and it's tipped back towards her palate in that accident. And we're telling the software here to design a crown or a veneer on that, uh, that tooth. That way when we take this 3D x-ray on this machine that you see in front of you that we can visualize where that fracture actually occurred. So this is called a cone beam CT image. There's the 3D image with the fracture section right in half. Isn't that crazy? So that tooth needs to come out. We're gonna place an implant. And here we're, here's where we're gonna plan how we are gonna safely place this implant. 
Uh, as you look at this video, I'm rotating it around, showing you different angles in this three dimensions of how that tooth was uh, fractured. You can also see the teeth around it were, were chipped pretty badly. Now we show the impression. So that 3D image at the very beginning is gonna be merged with this X-ray. The X-ray is a three-dimensional X-ray and the image is a three-dimensional impression. So merging these two together to give uh, basically a, a, a way to plan both the implant and the future crown that she's gonna need there to smile with. So that's really what makes this technology super cool. Now look at that, the two things are merged and we can zoom in and we can see how clearly and cleanly they merge. That yellow line is outlining the x-ray perfectly, which means that the stitch occurred very accurately, which means we can trust that this impression when we create our guide from it is gonna be super accurate. Now we're gonna go ahead and plan the implant placement and if you look here, I'm manipulating in software where that implant should go. Uh, we can you know, choose the proper depth for making it cosmetically very beautiful and su supporting the gums. We can also plan the angulation to give enough bone. This way we don't have to guess at how awesome we can make this. We can really predict and deliver an amazing result. And as you'll see, we'll, we'll get to the after photo and the, uh, you'll see how it all uh, comes together. So here's that implant and the three dimensions. That orange ring, which is a little subtle because it's underneath the, you can kind of see the cross sections of it there, but that orange ring is what's gonna actually be milled out in the guide. And that guide, there's you can kind of see the cross section of that ring here in a second becomes really obvious. So that is what controls the implant placement or the drill uh, to make sure that the implant goes exactly where we want it to go there. Um, and that is how precise we're able to make this implant uh, in this patient's mouth. Safety, accuracy, um, and long-term health, and obviously beauty, beautiful. You know, that we want to deliver a beautiful result for her and try to give her a smile that she had before. So we export all that information. Now that we've planned this implant placement, back to our server, then we go back to the machine that we took the original scan on. You can see here, implant number uh, eight is being planned. Uh, we can define the border of this guide. This guide is gonna be like a clear mouthpiece that'll snap onto the teeth. It'll have that ring that you see in the software, and I know I'm kind of awkward, I'm pointing at it over there because I'm watching the video so I time it correctly, but that ring is what's gonna control that implant. Um, we'll put some windows, you'll see right there, I'm putting windows into the imaging or into the guide. That way I can verify that it seats. So when I go to place the implant, I can trust that that guide is gonna be 100% accurate. We're gonna place that implant exactly where we want it to. Uh, then we go ahead and send that to a milling machine. And here is Rachel loading that into the milling machine and it just tightens down there nicely. And this machine will spend about 30, 40 minutes cutting out a very accurate guide um, to, to basically place in the patient's mouth and control that uh, angle and depth of the implant. Um, so why do you go through all this trouble? Because it's your smile and it's really important to deliver a perfect result. Hand, doing this by hand, there's no way we can get this accurate and deliver such a beautiful smile and support the gums and, and line everything up correctly. There you can look at the guide close up. You'll see the ring in it and that ring is where the implant will be placed through and that'll control angulation and depth. This image here is when we're starting to go ahead and fix the other teeth surrounding it. So we decided to crown one of the teeth, the tooth on her right of the, of the tooth that needs to come out. And then you'll see I did a build up there in composite to help re-establish where that midline was for her. So that way I know how to fabricate her smile to get it right to the proper angulation with straight up with her eyes and uh, straight across correctly. So now I'm imaging the preps. The implant's already in place. Uh, it only took about 10 minutes to use that guide to place the implant. Uh, so the gums, you can see here, there's a little triangulation device that I screwed into her implant. Um, it'll be back here in just a second, you'll see that. That little clear, uh, the little gray plastic piece that's on this implant now tells the software the exact position, depth, angulation of that implant. The importance in this is now I can plan that implant alongside her two veneers and the crown. So now we can design all four of these restorations at the same time. I know I'm talking fast, but I don't want to bore anybody to death. Now we're going to image the lower arch because we want to make sure we have a bite uh, that can be uh, used to make sure we make the, the teeth the proper uh, length. And there's the bite imaging. And you'll see all of this come together uh, obviously, I wish it was this fast, that'd be pretty cool, right? But you'll see this all come together in a uh, model of upper and lower teeth, and this allows us to then go in and 
um, start our design process. So we tell the computer, hey, get rid of all this mess, let's make this super nice and clean, the imaging we don't need. Now I tell the computer where to margin, so or marginate. So where are we building these restorations to? Uh, that way the software knows how to fabricate the, the size of those uh, veneers. Now I tell it uh, where the implant's gonna go and, and how the gums need to be supported and uh, fin finish it off with margination of the crown. And this, keep in mind, is all done, this was done in one visit for this, uh, this patient. And uh, so now it's time to design. I can use that before image I took, before I started treatment. I can use that to help us get everything dialed in. And so I sped through this fairly quickly so you don't have to be too bored with all the design aspect. It took me about 30, 45 minutes total time to design the positions of all these teeth. So including that implant. And then, then we have four milling machines in our office. These milling machines allow us to then send out uh, this data to be uh, fabricated uh, out of a block of porcelain. Um, you'll get to see that here in a second. So I'm shaping the teeth, giving them the proper contours, basically having total control over the support of the gum tissue you see here with that implant. Uh, and make sure that screw access, which is where the that crown will screw into the, um, the implant, um, will we'll have uh, that uh, towards her tongue. The uh, veneers there are ready to roll, and I think we're ready to go ahead and mill, uh, yes, uh, the, one of the restorations here. So we can go ahead and start doing that. I believe we're gonna do, oh yeah, there we're adjusting the contacts. So that's the green there is getting those contacts really dialed in. Yep. And then now we're starting to mill. There's the crown gonna be milled. And then here we have the veneers being milled. So there's one. That's her tooth number nine that got fractured right next to tooth number eight. Just wasn't broken in half like tooth number eight was. So it, it, the root was intact. And then you can see the tissue being overlaid there. So that way we can design these uh, um, front two teeth, especially that implant, to have the proper tissue support. That's a really big deal when we're talking about implants, especially in the, in the smile areas. How do we make certain that not just the, the picture, but the gums, the frame, I call the gums the frame of the smile. How do we make sure the frame is really uh, looking really pretty and supports those teeth correctly and everything looks nice. So you can see I'm dialing that in, uh, supporting all of that. And then there's a really, the way that we actually fabricate this implant crown and a, there's an attachment called the abutment. The abutment is actually that green line, I'm defining where I want the software to split or to uh, remove and create this separate abutment or attachment to the implant and then make a crown as well. And those two pieces will be used together. Uh, the abutment will screw into the implant and the crown will cement over that. So you'll see those two parts come together here in the software. That line, it's really important to define that. The contour on the, on the front part of that uh, tooth is given, and you can see I created a little dip in it. That little dip is to make sure, certain that the gums kind of want to settle there. It's called a sigmoid notch if you're in dentistry. That's, that's what I was doing. But as far as a patient, just know that we're, we're really trying to train the gums to land in that spot. That way when you smile, nobody knows you were having an implant. There you can see the two pieces now separated in the software. You'll see one, the crown will become transparent and you can see the underlying attachment or abutment. And so those three components, and those make up all implants by the way, you have an implant fixture, an abutment, and then a, a crown that would be part of that process there. Now I'm, I'm shaping that crown to have the same exact shape as the tooth number eight. You can see that grid. The real benefit of a grid is that we're able to dial that all in in software and uh, we can really nail uh, the, the, the contours and make sure, certain that they have a complete uh, uh, symmetry. As you see here, we're fine tuning that abutment and we're ready to mill them. There's the two pieces that you can kind of see together. There's the abutment getting milled. So here's the milling process. So now we're milling out uh, these restorations in the machine that we have here in our office to get them all ready to be bonded in to her uh, smile, same day. So hopefully you enjoyed this. This is really um, the exciting part. Now we're making the smile and fabricating that in this, this single visit dentistry. Finally, we have everything in place and I wanted to use this to zoom in on so you can really see the implants in place, the abutments there and the crowns on top of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and head over to some smile photos here so you can really see what the smile looked like afterwards. Here we have this before image, so you can see the gums and how that was broken. There's the after. 
The teeth are now nicely restored to the proper dimension. There's the before for slightly open, so you can see a little more clearly those broken teeth. And finally, there's the immediate post-op. So sorry, it's not fully cleaned up there. Just need a toothbrush I mean, there. I mean, it definitely is. It was a roller coaster going through the accident and then having to look for a dentist um, was really difficult. Just I didn't know anybody, so I did a lot of research. And then finally choosing you and being nervous the day before and being nervous the day of um and thankfully like the entire staff was so nice um and you guys really made me feel so comfortable and eased my anxiety um and even during the process you guys were amazing and it it went for it like you said it is a roller coaster and it went from being like oh my gosh i got into a car accident oh my gosh i got um i have to look for a dentist and then you gave me my smile back and it was just happy again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool, yeah. awesome. Uh, how would you like sum up your experience just in a few short sentences like with our, our practice, our team, myself, what would you what would you say to others about that experience? Um, and just share that. Yeah, I mean overall I would give it five stars out of oh. five. Awesome. Right. <laughs> that's what we go for, so that's good to hear. <laughs> I mean, the entire experience was phenomenal. Everything from the technology that you have, um, from the staff, from you, you guys made me feel, like I said, so comfortable and so happy. And going to the dentist for me is not a fun thing. And then having to do something like this was not something that was fun for me. But somehow going there and even Dexter was just... It was awesome. I'll make was sure he knows. I'll make sure he knows, yeah. <laughs> cool. Share with people kind of the process that you had to finding us and um, kind of like your journey through uh, making that decision. What were the kind of the logistics? So, you know, not the emotional stuff, but maybe just like logistically, how was it difficult? How, how was that process? So it all started with a Google search. Right. I someone to do an implant. I knew that much. Um, and I did a lot of research and somehow I came across your page on YouTube and I started watching one video after another after another and your honesty was, I mean I said it before, was kind of what drew me to you and I had I think about four or five dentists or three that I was like, okay, these are the ones that I kind of have an idea of where I want to go. Right. And, and um, finally, it came down to your practice, and you were the one that I chose. And I, I did, my main priority was I don't care where he, where the practice is. I just want to get my smile back. I want to get my life back. And I felt like going to Missouri was the best option, as crazy as it sounds, all the way from New. York. But yeah, yeah. Have, you, have you ever been to the Midwest before? Is this kind of like I, I didn't even ask you that? I don't think. I have never been to the Midwest. I mean, I'm from New York, born and raised here. I've been to Hawaii, the other side. Yeah. Right? I've never been to the Midwest. And right. oh, Springfield, Missouri is so cute. It's such a yeah. cute little town. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. I'm glad you liked it. If there is something that could have made it easier, what would that have been? You know, I don't. Yeah. What could have made it easier? I mean, I wish you were in New York. <laughs> nice. Honestly. <laughs> Easier, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, overall, it was it was honestly truly a great experience, and yeah, yeah there's maybe somebody maybe somebody like you having an interview would have been easier, made it easier. Oh yeah, yeah. no, like, dude, honestly, yeah. absolutely. Maybe having someone like me. I mean, I did see a video. Was it a video or or maybe someone else was there from Puerto Rico? Yes, you saw that one. I okay. Seen that. Yeah. Oh. We'll fly here. Maybe I can fly there too. Yeah. So, yeah. An interview cool. else would have been great. Good. Good. Uh, the procedure itself. So obviously there was logistics of your emotions, the logistics of travel. But as far as like the three or four hours after we took that little initial video and went back there and did the process, you've had time to reflect on that. What, what was going through your mind was the experience of just kind of that process. Um, for I mean, we did. We took out a tooth. Uh, we put in a, an implant. Uh, we did uh, some veneers, uh, three veneers on the teeth next to it. Um, so we kind of restored that. 
so that was all done in, in a single setting, um, along with that uh, being screwed into place. Two, two parts, right? That custom abutment that gets screwed into the implant and then a crown seated on that. So we made five pieces and placed one titanium root, so the titanium implant, after we extracted that tooth the very day. So um, a, lot, a lot went on. Just from your perspective, I mean, that's kind of the dental components can, perspective, but like what was going through your mind and how, how was that? Um, well, initially I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have a square in my mouth. Yeah. What the, <laughs> that part was scary. And after, during the fact, during the entire process, I am truly amazed how, how simple and easy it was because from an outside perspective, you're kind of thinking I'm going to have a square in my mouth. Oh my gosh. And then once you have it in, it's like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. And then afterwards, I am, I'm surprised at how much I don't feel anything. And it doesn't really feel different. And I don't feel like there is a screw in my mouth, yeah. you know? So it was a much easier process than I had imagined. Um, and the anxiety was mostly me in my head than anything else. Because during the process, you putting the screw in there and afterwards, it really didn't feel like anything. Awesome, cool. There's somebody out there, because there we, we get calls still daily um, from people interested in, in traveling and, and seeking out uh, care to help with their smile. I know it's a hot, we call it, in our office, we call it a high trust treatment, right? It's you're trusting, for the most part, unless you have a family friend that's a dentist, you're trusting a complete stranger with something that's um, pretty important to you and part of your identity. And so I know there's a lot of trust uh, that is being kind of given almost almost blindly. Um, and so what um, would you share with uh, somebody seeking out care that's probably, you know, maybe somebody that's watching this video that's going, man, I've got a problem or I had an accident or a similar situation where they want to fix their, their smile. What would you be your your conversation if you were just talking to them? Like, what would you would you tell them? Um, I would say that yes, you are putting your trust in someone else, your smile in someone else's hands. But Dr. Olson is a professional. Um, I put my trust in him 100% and I don't think I could have trusted anyone else with my smile, which is something that is very, like you said, it's part of your identity and it's something that's important to you. Um, so I would definitely say do your research <laughs> and, you know, go with your gut feeling because my gut feeling told me to go to Missouri as crazy as it sounds. And I went with it, and I'm so happy that I did. So that's great. Yeah, good. I love yeah. that advice. And I and actually, part of one a video I created says talks about that. Follow follow your like the last tip I give people when they're talking about, especially at cosmetic dentistry, is don't go against your gut because you know your it's your identity. Don't don't risk that. You need to be going. You need to feel really confident in who you're going to trust with your smile for sure. And then I guess the last one would be, what was the best part of visiting Springfield? Out of, if you had to give one thing, what was the best part? I know we're not like a destination city, but what would be the one thing you could say? Um, Springfield. Well, downtown Springfield is so cute. Yeah. Um, I honestly want to go back to see you guys, to see downtown Springfield and to see Dexter. <laughs> there you go. I love it. I mean, your smile looks so good. I love seeing that. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so that kind of concludes kind of what I want to ask. Thank you so much, Eva. You are, uh, you, you're, you're an inspiration to me. You're such a sweetheart for coming here and, and, uh, you've been so kind to our team. And I, uh, I know that took a lot of, um, kind of guts and, and faith to come and travel to Springfield and do something like that. Um, I, gosh, I, I look forward to seeing like your before and after smile. I'm going to need, I've got your before, but you're going to have to update me with like a good, <laughs> Yeah, I need yeah. Um, to get a ca well, I have a camera, just get a good picture of it. Yeah. Um, hopefully this weekend I'll get yeah. around. That'd be awesome. Picture. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Thanks so much for your time, hon. You have a wonderful uh, day, wonderful weekend, and let me know if you ever need anything, okay? Thanks, Dr. Olsen. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video of Eva, She's a pretty cool gal, right? Of sharing her uh, experience. Thanks so much, Eva, for doing that. 
I know that took some courage to share that you had a car accident and what had happened and, and then show all the details about how we were transforming your smile. So I know it meant a lot to me. I know there's a lot of people probably watching that learned hopefully a great amount about what we're able to do with the coolest technology available in dentistry, super exciting. Um, and if it's something that you're like going, man, I'd like to, to pursue that type of treatment, then don't hesitate, go to YourSmileDestination.com. We have you covered there. We'll give you all the details about how to get in contact with us and get here so we can help you smile big and bright. Uh, we would definitely want to be part of your journey to smiling the way that you would love to smile confidently. So that is something our team is excited about. And if you can't get it from this video, you're not going to get it anywhere else, right? So I uh, hope you learned a lot from it. The video is, uh, if you, you know, if you liked it and you're wanting more st stuff like this, you know, please give it a thumbs up. That's how more people are going to see it. It also lets me know that hey, you enjoyed it. Uh, and then comment below on you know what what things do you wish I would have shown or what did I you know get, critique me a little bit. I, I want to know more with the channel now. The channel's grown to about fifteen thousand uh, subscribers. I'd like to get more feedback so I know that I'm you know taking care of the channel correctly and all you subscribers giving you information and make sure I'm hitting the right spots. So do that. That'd be super helpful. Otherwise, you guys have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, you keep smiling. It looks great on you.